Jack, what's up? Patrick, what's up? good to see you. Vic, I've been wanting to compliment you with that mustache for quite some time, my friend. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sorry, let me grab this. Uh, I can't grow a beard, so you know, I, I, I got respect for, for guys that can. What do I see on your face right now? This, this is just, just, I don't even want to, I don't know what it is. I don't, I'm not proud of it. Oh, it looks good. Looks good. <laughs> <laughs> well, nice to get on with you for Shoulder Tap, Patrick. Um, you know, been with us for about a little over a year now and uh, seen a lot of, a lot of exciting fireworks from your trading activity. <laughs> Patrick's a big swinger. We see big, big wins, big losses, um, but overall, Take well, a lot of money out of the market. The losses are contained with a daily loss, and we talked about those. So there's that too. Are you still long? 100%. Yeah, 100%. I, I, I was listening to, into you guys, and yeah, that uh, that loss limit, definitely a good thing for you to have. You know, whether you have a loss limit set with Top Step or you have your own personal loss limit, always good to limit yourself on the losses. Do, do I have the record for hitting the daily loss limit the fastest in one day? With the, the with the size you trade, maybe up there. I think, I think I've I at least have lost three thousand in like fifteen seconds before. Yeah, it goes pretty quickly when you've got the size on, though. That's for sure. But you've got tons of five figure winning days and whatnot. So you know, as long as you're limiting those losses, you know, you can afford to have those three thousand dollar losing days if you're putting up ten, twenty thousand dollars, like I've seen out of you, like I've seen out of you in this account that uh, we want to talk about a little bit today. One of your express funded accounts. Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, before we get into Patrick, though, I do want to give a couple shout outs. Shout out to Hoagie Baby, up a little over 700 bucks, straight in the live account today. Um, got a shout out for Kai Shun, up 12,000 in their XFA. Shout out for Columbus, uh, up 10,000 in their XFA. Edberto, up 16,000 in their express funded accounts. They're trading two XFAs, trade copying. So up a little over 8,000 in each one of those. And then, um, Kyle, one of our power players from two weeks ago, our $60,000 trader, uh, he had the $60,000 winning day. Michael, I heard you mention him earlier. Uh, he's up 33,000. Oh, come, oh, come on, come on. <laughs> yeah, 33 grand trade the NASDAQ. I'm sure you can uh, imagine what his position, how he's positioned in the markets today, uh, but big shout come out to on. him. Dude, that is incredible. That is yeah. that is like gnarly trading. Riding the trends, riding the trends. Slap it on, set it, and forget it. And like Patrick said, you know, have that loss limit in place, but then let those runners is he, go. Is he 15 contracts every pool? Just about, yeah, just about. That's impressive. I mean, that's like because you have to be a, a like you got to you got to be so pinpoint, well, Patrick. I guess when we talk about it, I, no, let's get, keep going because I want to yeah, pass, sorry. pass that bridge and then talk to him about that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, sh you do when you're trading that size, and he's got a three thousand dollar loss limit, just like you do, Patrick. Your your location's got to be pinpoint on point, or else you know your day's over pretty quickly. So, um, yeah. Why don't we talk about Patrick's XFA a little bit here? Let's do it. I know Alex has got some uh, some visual for us. We've got some really good stats on this one. Um, so Patrick, about forty thousand bucks in this account, uh, taking sixteen thousand in payouts. Uh, current account balance right around twenty four thousand today. I think that's after hitting the loss limit in this account today, but. Um, Really liking what I see here. You know, you can see from the average winning trades and average losing trades, risk rewards right around one to one. I'll just call it one to one. Um, that's fine if you're putting up the winning trade percentage of 71%. So three quarters of the time, he's right on his trades. Uh, so with that, one to one's just fine. If you can't put up winning trade percentages like 71%, like Alex, uh, excuse me, not like Alex, um, like Patrick's been doing in this XFA, you're going to need to have a higher risk reward ratio. You want to look at two to one, three to one, that kind of thing. But all in all, it's been a short stint in this XFA and he's just been knocking it out of the park. Got a lot of high P&L notable days up 2,800, up 9,500. He made, uh, what you put up 10,000 yesterday? Is that right? Like 8,500, 8, 8,500. 8,500 yesterday. Okay. 
uh, another 1900 and then early on in the account, I think it might've been day two or something, $20,000 winning day. It was, it was day two, day two, 20 grand. You know, what's, what was funny about that too, is if you look at my average winning on that day and not, I think the average winner was like 800 bucks. So just, you were pegging it. Yeah. It was like long. 18, 18 winning trades, just back to back to back. <laughs> I mean, that, if that doesn't make you feel a little bit taller, I don't know what does. Oh my God. I know. Right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, just, I don't have much else to share on, on this stuff. Cause this is just really, really good trading in this express funded account. Like I mentioned before, Patrick you're swinging, you're swinging big, uh, which we like to see. It's exciting. I know your followers like it. We like to see it, uh, happy, you know, from the risk side of things, happy to see you keeping that $3,000 daily loss limit for protection there. Cause if you can put up 10,000, $20,000 winning days, you can certainly afford to have, you know, several, losing days of $3,000 and not really worry about it too much. Uh, you know, I tell all the traders um, on this shoulder tap segment, nobody's got any business risking more in a given day than they can make on average uh, on a winning day. And, you know, your winning days are big. So there's nothing wrong with this here. You know, it's those traders that might only be putting up $1,000 on a day that want to be very conscious of not risking three grand on one of these trading days. I agree. Michael. I agree. Michael, it looks like you were going to say something. Nope. Oh, all right. Keep uh, going. I want you to keep going. I know where you're all going. All right. Well, <laughs> let's keep you dragging. Come on, buddy. Let's, let's keep, keep going. going. All right. All right. All right. Let's keep going with this. Um, we have really liked the trading activity out of Patrick's XFA. And uh, Michael, I think, you know, these metrics speak for themselves. You want to do anything with this account for Patrick here? I think this is your call. What do you want to do? Patrick, what do you want to do? You want us to call you up to a live no, account? No, 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 no. There's no asking him. We're calling, <laughs> you, we're calling you up live. Calling you up yeah, live. Patrick, God. this account, this express funded account of yours, we're moving you into a live account with the prop firm. Uh, you've been doing really well, and we want to see it continue going forward. Uh, he's got a nice, healthy account balance. Uh, you know, let's maintain a nice cushion in this account when we make the transfer so we can, you know, afford to have several of these, you know, if we have these loss limit days down 3000, we can afford to weather, you know, uh, a number of those uh, and still make sure that we're in a good position to maintain the account and continue profiting, continue taking payouts, 16,000 in payouts from his express funded account so far. Uh, the money going forward is going to be money taken out of the markets and we know you can do it. Yeah, Patrick. Quick, quick question, guys. I get the question a lot from people. What? So, if I once I go into live account, let's say I have three Express Fund accounts, do all three Express Fund accounts funnel into the live account? Yep, they will. Yes, if we decide that we like the performance in those other three accounts, we will take and we decide to transfer you to live with those. The balances of those three XFAs, the Express Funded, they'll go right into your live account. So we've had that with a number of people. You know, they, we transfer one Express Funded, they start with 20 grand, 30 grand, and then they trade in the XFAs, trade well in those. You know, we might be moving another, you know, 30, 45 grand into that, uh, that live account. So, uh, and, and, that, and a lot about this is you're, you're, at, you're actually, I mean, this is for anybody in a live account, you're trading prop firm like risk now you're you're in a prop firm account you're a professional trader totally professional trader known as a professional trader even by the cme which is not some bullshit liquidity ab group blah 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 simulated world of forex this is a real regulated exchange your orders go in the exchange all that kind of stuff you see kyle putting up money uh he's trading size i mean i'm not telling you to change anything or do anything but here's your opportunity we'll do whatever uh to, to open you up uh and and give you more whatever you need but as mick said keep going doing what you're doing and put it up but uh, uh and if you lose it you lose it man if you got a great run you brought it up but this is the name of the game in prop firm trading is is when you got when you got the streak you're going when you're seeing the markets really well like you're going i mean we, we want to pull you up we do and speaking of you op michael mentioning opening people up you know, we have the, the standard risk settings for each one of these account sizes, but once you're in a live account and you build that account balance up, we don't want to tie your hands behind your back. You know, within reason, we can expand risk parameters 
Michael's talked about, you know, expanding of loss limits. If it makes sense, we don't want to put anybody in a position where they can, you know, lose a super large percentage of their account in a single day. But, you know, even the scaling plan, 15 contracts for someone who's built up their account to a large value, you know, they might want to trade larger than 15 contracts. If it's reasonable, you know, we're looking out for the best interests of the traders, people on the risk team here. We want to make sure they stay in their accounts as long as possible to give themselves the best opportunity to profit over time. You know, if you want to trade larger than 15 contracts and the shoe fits, we'll give it to you. Yep. Um, if you want to trade larger than 15 contracts and you think you're going to need a bigger loss limit than three grand, which, you know, would probably make a lot of sense if you're swinging 20 lots. We'll give it to you within reason. So yep. you know, we're flexible here. And the move and the move from XFA to, to live is top step prop firm managing our risk. So when a trader starts crushing it, we then pull them up and we want that crushing to continue. We'll open you up. We'll, we'll treat you like, again, like a real prop trader. Because again, XFA is XFA. You don't want to be a sim trader for, for forever if you are keep crushing the market. So that's why Top Step is always taking people live. We believe in, in bringing people up to the, to the end of the rainbow, which is a, a live prop firm trader. Yep, only the best of the best. And Patrick's joining the team. Uh, how, Mick, how many people on average increase their daily loss limit when they go into a live account? Do you have a stat uh, on that? That's a good question. I don't have a hard statistic on that, Patrick, but I know it's very, very small. Our, yeah. What I've seen from the traders that stay in the live accounts the longest, the traders that are actually the most profitable, they are the ones that are not even, in, in some cases, not even risking their Two thousand or three thousand dollar daily loss limit on any given day. Got a lot of people that can take four figures out of the market regularly with risking just less than a thousand bucks a day. Yep. Um, yep. So is, is, is Kyle at three thousand a day? Kyle's at three thousand a day. See, that's what I'm gonna. Say, wherever Kyle's at, where I'm staying. I would at. stay there, Patrick. <laughs> it's working for you. You're just well, talking yeah. about it, and then you just you know you bust out one day, call it a day. You go do your uh, your your fishing or, or whatever your awesome lifestyle is. Come back and you hit it again with a fresh mind, which you do. You're a hard worker at it. It's paying off. So we're excited about it. So uh, hopefully everybody now knows the difference between XFA and live. Either way, you're at the foot of level. Either way, your payouts are the exact same on 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 on, on what you need to do to, to to open that up. So but good mm -hmm. good either regardless. Yeah, that was a great question by Patrick too. You know, one thing I'll say is for someone like Kyle who's up thirty three grand today and he's got a three thousand dollar daily loss limit, it's going to take him eleven losing days in a row to wipe out yeah. one day's profit. Something yeah. that I screwed up. And learned from when I first started trading was, you know, I would have two good weeks of, you know, hard work, making money. And then one day I would do something, I'd over leverage, I'd make a bunch of bad decisions. There was nothing more painful for me personally than wiping out two weeks of profitable hard work with a single day or even in a couple, ex a couple cases, a single trade. You know, there's nothing that ground my gears more than that. Uh, and that's really hard to stomach. Position yourself where it's going to take you multiple losing days to wipe out one of your winning days. Um, that's what Patrick does. That's what Kyle does. That's what you does, too. Uh, our other live trader from France who we've talked about a lot over the last month and a half. Yeah, I, I actually think about that. When I look at my like P&L or if I look at my uh, account balance, I think like, OK, I have. I have six days of max loss to hit before I lose that account. And it almost like, I want to like have that cushion. Cause I'm like, there's no way like statistically there's really, it, it would be really hard for me to have five max loss days in a row. Absolutely. Absolutely. I always like to talk about it in terms like baseball terms with traders, like how many swings at the plate do you have? Yep. Um, yep. 